Hello, History One students. This is Mrs. Politsky, and I have notes for Chapter 8, Section 3, The Union Dissolves. So as you follow along, make sure you have your handouts ready. Take a look here at your first item. How did John Brown's raid frighten and anger Southerners? Well, Northerners tried to arm the enslaved people and encourage them to rebel. Or at least that's what uh, John Brown and his followers were doing. And in the Deep South, that had many slave owners very, very scared. Skipping to number four. What did Southern delegates to the 1860 Democratic Convention want their party to do? Well, Democrats, Southern Democrats, uh, wanted to uphold the Dred Scott decision and endorse federal slave codes for the territories. Okay, the big thing is to remember is that during this election of 1860, uh, we really had four political or politicians running for the presidency. Uh, you have Lincoln, who was running, obviously, as a Republican. You have Stephen Douglas, who was running as a Democrat. And then we have a couple of minor party members, uh, followed by Bell and Breckinridge. And if you take a look at the Electoral College map, uh, this is kind of broken down by your candidates and, and how they won. Uh, for the most part, Abraham Lincoln solidly wins the North along with Oregon and California. Uh, if you take a look down in the Deep South, you got Breckenridge, and Breckenridge would uh, kind of side with the Confederacy. What's interesting is what's happening in uh, kind of the, the mid-Atlantic states, particularly um, Maryland and what would be basically Delaware. Uh, these are a couple states that kind of look like they're towards the north, but they have a tendency to, uh, to have a lot in common with the Deep South. And then when you look at Bell, uh, Bell kind of wins basically right along the border. When we talk about Virginia, and you got to remember Virginia at this time includes what would eventually become West Virginia, Kentucky, and Tennessee. Number five, how was Abraham Lincoln able to win the presidency in 1860? Well, the Democrats, for the most part, split their votes between uh, Breckinridge and, and Douglas. And what you're going to find is in the future, when we talk about uh, other really close uh, presidential elections, if there are minor party candidates, meaning that candidates that are not part of the Democrat or uh, Republican parties, there's a higher tendency for uh, the, the vote to be split and for a minor candidate to possibly win. Number six, uh, what was the first Southern state to secede from the Union? And that would be the state of South Carolina. Uh, they did so after the election of 1860. Uh, and so they, were, they get the credit as being the first to leave. How did many Southerners feel about secession? Well, many of them believed it was in their tradition of the American Revolution and that they were fighting for their own rights. And in a way, you know, guys like George Washington become kind of their heroes. One of the, the first little battle areas or battlegrounds for uh, the Civil War uh, after South Carolina secedes is at the, the harbor of Charleston, Fort Sumner. Uh, which was a federal uh, fort uh, kind of in the deep south. And for the most part, the Southerners or the Confederates uh, tried firing upon them to get uh, the federal troops to leave. And what ends up happening is this is kind of the, the first of a series of different events that are going to happen that for the most part start this American Civil War. Number nine, uh, what were the elements of the Crittenden's Compromise? And this was part of your vocab, if you can remember back, but the Crittenden Compromise uh, was maybe a plan to kind of delay uh, a civil war from taking place. And what it would do is it would guarantee that slavery uh, would exist uh, basically where it already existed. So, for example, in the Deep South, they could keep slavery. And it would also reinstate the Missouri Compromise. 
So for every southern state, we're going to have a northern state with the whole idea of things being balanced. Uh, this compromise never really materialized and the war began. Number 10, what was happening in Montgomery, Alabama, while the peace conference uh, was taking place in Washington, D.C.? And in Montgomery, Alabama, this is where our seceded states gathered and declared themselves the new nation of the Confederate States of America. And hence, they pick a president, and they pick Jefferson Davis, and the next thing you know, we've got a war. And these are your men, Jefferson Davis here on the left and Abraham Lincoln on the right, both presidents of their respective countries at this period of time. Thank you very much.